What's up everybody, Daz is here. It was just a few weeks ago when we looked together at newest AK Radiator XE series that I have right here. And some of you in the comments says, hey, where's the love for 140 millimeters rods? And just a few weeks later, we have a brand new addition to AK Waterbox lineup C series which is whatever standards for I don't know but the size is 140 millimeters and I have a triple rod right here I just got it a couple days ago I didn't have a chance to open it and to look at it at all so I'm going to unbox it to you uh, with you together and we compare it with, with XC series so the main question here I didn't want to look on any spec sheet or anything like this but I'd like to see what the fin density what the thickness of radiator and stuff like this well, by signals we already can tell that it's not as big as XC series, but um, just visually, I don't remember numbers, but uh, let's look in the rod. For me, by feeling, it looks like exactly the same as the P series, but the core, the core density is the same as XC. So it's not as thick as it is, but the FPI pretty much the same. So it looks very familiar. Good size, that's something that I always was advocating that high density rods, it's more like a gimmicks and give you more problems than benefit. So um, we see here medium density radiators should work well with variety of fan speeds, which is important. And um, also the same properties as PEXC. So we have shrouded version. I'm not going to disassemble it as we did the last time because I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same construction just a bigger size but benefits is exactly the same so you have a better quality control of uh, the shroud so you can um, don't need to trash as many radiators as you do with a uh, standard rod here you can make sure that core is good and after that you put the shroud and it's much easier to pick all bad apples with the shrouds only so it's an efficient way to do so also on our side we have to pay more for the shrouded radiator than versus a standard radiator because it's a little bit more to produce but again if you want to paint and do things like really fancy like that or put even stickers on it and uh, it's easy for you to work with the panel separately it's just a couple screws you get out and um, you can work with the panel to do whatever you want to do so it's more modding friendly and uh, many would agree that it's look better so is it worth extra bucks for the shrouded version or not it's up to you but this has uh, some merits for sure and it's only one company as i know at this point which has 140 millimeter shrouded version because for 120 millimeters we have uh, XSPC as well they make their own shrouded version not looking as good it's more like cheaper looking comparing with AK which put it a more nicer final finish but for 140 AK is the only one so it's only your choice so you can see it here triple two triple rods and 140 how much surfaces get too bad we don't have too many good fans for 140 millimeters that's the reason I personally avoid this size of radiators but uh, well things might change you might start getting more fans where there's 140 coming out and who god knows maybe something else will pop up soon next thing i would like to do um next video i'm going to show you what's going on with the new wardar fans uh, this is extended version uh, extended range fan this comes now in white and fully black because first version it was uh, basically trying to mimic uh, gentle typhoons with a uh, dual color gray and impeller thing and i saw some reports that saying that it is um, performing better than the old one so i decided to put on my test bench i have exactly the same setup as before and i'm going to run it and see if there's any difference visually i don't see how fun is different at all also i put it on a scale and it has exactly the same weight so um so you can maybe even hear some noise coming from other rooms that's three wires extended range working on triple radiator punching some numbers for us so it will take a couple days for me and i'll put a video together and make five minutes talk uh, what i get so it will be interesting to know what we're going here all right guys that's it for now uh, last thing i would like to talk to you is um some of you might saw my video about tesoro keyboard 
kind of new thing I'm experimenting so I don't think the video absolutely perfect but this is something I want to play with and see if I get any products and uh, try to show you my opinion I don't know if you like it or not also will take some practice to make it um, better than uh, maybe it's right now so it was first attempt bear with me about that but I will, will love to hear your feedback because I see absolutely freaking no comments on um, keyboard videos so I don't even know like you don't care you don't need it uh, or it's like just piece of shit type of attempt uh, so well if you're willing to give me any feedback I will listen but it's something that uh, kind of point of interest for me at this point and um, I would like to do a couple more videos talking about different products all right guys thanks a lot see you soon